I'm out on the Somerset levels having what I think of as a philosophy walk because walking on the levels is one of the best places to have a philosophical dialogue with myself and really try and sharpen ideas and I haven't been out for a while because the weather has been really bad and it's lovely today here I am and the tour is there in the background the famous Glastonbury tour <coughs> out walking so I thought this would be a great opportunity to um these plastic glasses steam up <laughs> there you go <sighs> can't agree with you though. I thought this would be a great opportunity to make a video for specifically for people who are interested in or supporters of my work uh, to say this is what I made of the last year and this is what I see going forward. So looking back over 2020 it's obviously a weird year you don't mean me to tell you that uh, for me, uh, <laughs> there was a kind of surprising, uh, two surprising moments where I found myself winning Author of the Year on Kindred Spirit magazine, um, which was a surprise because I haven't released a book for quite a while, but it was very nice, voted for by the by you, <laughs> uh, the readers of the, and the readers of the magazine, um, and that was very supportive and. Uh, also found myself in Watkins magazine uh, they do a top 100 of the most spiritually influential people alive and uh, there I was at number 50 which um, I really don't think is true um, but was nevertheless um, Again, very supportive of what I do, and uh, it looks good in my bio, and so perhaps more people will take me seriously, and it'll become self-fulfilling. Who knows? We'll see what happens this year. The biggest thing, really, this year has been that uh, I feel, you know, there's a part of me that feels, looking back, uh, that maybe I should have done more online retreats. Um, I'm aware that people have been very isolated for a very long time, and a lot of my work is about connection and um, we haven't been able to do these physical retreats. I mean, we had a beautiful retreat set up in Japan. That didn't happen. I did it online instead with Debbie, my wife. Uh, it was a real success though. It really was beautiful. And then we had a beautiful retreat set up for the UK in Braunton Hall, which is this magnificent stately home, kind of a visionary stately home, if you will, uh, and a massive health center where we could enjoy um, this deep connection and actually experiencing the oneness, our individuality, because most of my life, my emphasis has been on the experience, not uh, the understanding. Uh, but that has changed, um, partly I think because things went so well with the experience. I'm, my attention started moving on to, over the last 10 years or so, really focusing on how do we understand this experience we're having. So uh, we had a beautiful video film made, which I still haven't released. I will release it, look out for it, um, of this uh, immersion into connectivity that I do in a beautiful environment with wonderful music. It's a, it's a it touches everywhere. It touches your deepest being. It touches your heart. Um, it connects you with yourself and with a whole group of often strangers in a really powerful way. It's a beautiful film. I, I've always wanted to have a film because you know, these these things often look, you know, I don't know if it was, I think it was David Byrne I heard, heard say, the states of ecstasy look ridiculous on film, and that's often true. Um, so I want, but the, this filmmaker has captured how it feels, I think, and, it, and it's beautiful. But I haven't released it because we can't get together. My plan had been to do a retreat at Braunton Hall, and also to start doing, that's more expensive because it's a stately home, um, but I wanted to do some more cheaper um, events, making it available to everyone in my own home here in Glastonbury. And I, I still want to do that because we have an annex, which is large enough, which I built for my mo mother before she died. Uh, and we can potentially use it for this. So all of that hasn't happened. And maybe I should have done more online. Uh, I'm going to be doing a retreat very shortly online. 
um, but I haven't done any others apart from the one in Japan at the beginning. And the reason for that is that as I get older, especially, I ask myself, what is the most important thing I need to do before I die? And the answer has been really clear to me. I need to complete and deliver my univigil philosophy, univigilism. And I've been working flat out to do that. And my intention is to deliver that online and make it completely freely available for you. So look out. Now, I thought I was going to do that last summer, but it's turned out to be a much more demanding project, of course, <laughs> over optimistic as ever. Um, uh, but it, I'm still hoping that by the spring or the early summer, um, I'll have completed it or enough of it to start releasing it to you. Um, so one of the things many people have been aware of, I've been doing this What Is Life series where I talk with people I find interesting, often people who've just turned up in my life, I think particularly planned, uh, and have conversations just exploring what have you made of this experience we're having? What have you made of it all? Um, and they've been great. If you haven't seen them, check them out. There's been so many wonderful conversations. Uh, I've learned a lot and it's been great to connect with these amazing people but my Univigilism project which I'm going to deliver hopefully this year is my answer to that question uh, and it's practical too it's about how we can experience it and what, how we can live it uh, how we can understand it in science how it can bring science and spirituality together a lot uh, it is my attempt at my magnus opus I guess each time is, I guess is that and it builds on soul story and takes it on to a whole a whole nother level so that's my major plan for the coming year. Uh, but one thing that has been going on throughout, um, which I've been delighted with, is, oh, it's getting hot, is the, the ICU, the International Community of Univigils. And uh, it's a very small little community. If you're not a member, check it out. It's very, very, very sweet group, a uh, deep group, um, very independent thinkers. Uh, and even people who are not particular wouldn't say they call themselves thinkers. It's not a philosophy group, although we do do philosophy. There's about just under 200 people, I think. Um, it's not a subscription service. So some people who can't afford to, to contribute anything are there as guests for free. You can come and try it out for free. And then I ask people to contribute what they can and that's really helpful it, 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 num it helps me cover having a, a personal assistant to run the p run things and to help me put out videos pay for all the background expenses um and of course i'm my own income is is uh, right down because of not doing events but it's not about it's not a money making endeavor it's about bringing people together who are really interested in exploring this um, philosophy and these practices, this new approach to, I want to say spirituality, but really it's life uh, with me in person. And we get together every Sunday um, night in the UK time. Uh, and that brings in people from all around the world, literally. I mean, just literally the world. And I love that. We also have a separate group developing in Japan as well with a translator. Uh, and... We do philosophy, which really means me trying out ideas. I do questions and answers so that I can discuss things with people. But also it's a vehicle to, for me to be with friends where I can go, okay, I'm working on this. What do you think? Does, have, have I, does this make sense to you? Have I got that right? And so there's a great intimacy and, and people find it very inspiring. And then we have awakening session where we do practices, gazing, meditation. And those are really powerful, surprisingly. Um, to me, the art that we can go so deep online. It blows me away. Um, and also, uh, starting in February, there's going to be a Soul Story book club run by one of the ICU founding members, uh, a friend of mine who also uh, was the person responsible for doing the interiors for the look, the design for Soul Story, in which people read Soul Story together, discuss it. I'm not going to be there so that people are free to to talk without me being around and I think that's really important so the one thing I ask of people who get involved with the ICU and like I said you know if you're not check it out is that they take it seriously now, now lots of people can't come to the meetups so what I do uh, is make the videos available afterwards hello um, and uh, 
a lot of people will um, watch those videos later. Um, but what I ask of everyone is that there's a genuine interest in exploring this with me. Um, and, and for that reason, I really want everyone to have at least read Soul Story. Uh, and if you just really can't manage reading, to have listened to some of the more recent videos and to get the ideas, because the aim of the ICU is to go deeper um, for me and, of course, for everyone involved. Uh, so Barnaby, Barnaby Adams, my dear friend and ICU founder, is going to be running uh, the um, a, a monthly book club where you can not only read Soul Story, but you can discuss it with each other online. I think that's going to be great. So my major goal for the coming year uh, in this midst of all this change is to really refine and present what I see Univigilism as a genuine new paradigm, a uh, you know big picture attempt to describe the essence of reality and our role within it from an evolutionary perspective and you know I push when I'm out on these walks I get the ideas and I push them as hard as I can to see if I uh, can make them fall over and so far the opposite is happening uh, they are becoming stronger they're supporting each other they're becoming richer and a vision I feel worthy of sharing for your consideration is very clearly emerging and I can't wait to get it to you and to hear your reaction um, because it really is the fruition of my life's work and it's what I can offer to you for all that the world has given me. So um, thank you to people in the ICU for their support. Uh, thank you for everyone who makes donations. It makes a huge difference. Uh, you can always make a donation to support this work, even if you don't want to um, uh, be a regular member of the ICU. Uh, this is about, it's about, the ICU is community. And what I love is hearing people's reactions, how much they love having genuine community, getting to know each other, and oh, the comments, really, the comments afterwards when people... It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful because we are one. We are one. And when we feel that, our relationship with everything changes. <laughs>